with Thomas were just brilliant at it. They could run a number of shows. They could split up, come back. They could do all of that. And they were very, very, very capable of doing it. And um, they gave us our first hit in Golden Girls. I mean, it was just no doubt about it. It was a show that Susan Harris had pitched. Um, the funny story about it is when the script was turned in, one of the few notes we got back is that it couldn't be four Jewish women in the South, in Miami. And they told that to Susan, and she went home and she put a vowel on the end of everybody's name and said they're Italian, and she didn't change anything. Once it was cast, it was just, it was brilliant what they did. Um, Nobody realized that, you know, Estelle Getty was the youngest of the girls. <laughs> um, she, to me, just, she was, she was what the Fonz was, was the happy days. It was when you needed a joke, when you needed a hit, she'd come in with a few lines, bang, knock it out, and it was there. Each of the women had their own ways. I mean, how can you do, just in the middle of it, Betty White, I mean, it's like, my God, it's like she's one of the great, great performers of all time. But if it's, if you could say it, she's a nicer person than than that. As as great as she is, and we all know how great she is. I remember times we would be doing pilots of game shows for syndication, and somebody would get sick. I remember one time I called her and I said. We're going to shoot this afternoon. It's a new game show. Somebody fill out, is there any chance you could come and do this? And she'd say, well, if you could have somebody go over and pick up my dress and somebody could go feed the dog and come and get me. And she would be there for you. And it would never be, let me call somebody, let me check, let me do. She was just the consummate pro. And it's so great to me now to see her show up at everything and be the star at every place and at age 90 yeah just and still kicking it and doing it and still with the smile and still remembering everything she is just just an absolutely wonderful woman but she was in the middle b arthur was you know she was perfect for that part she delivered that that character and 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 rue was there it just it was just an unbelievable cast that they were able to write for every week, and uh, it, uh, again, you looked at them, you know, you looked at them as four older women being together down there. The pilot did have a gay guy that worked for them as sort of a butler that they took out after that, just didn't test well. Um, but they had gigantic appeal. In the 18 to 49 audience, that was always way up there. It wasn't an old audience because they were old. I argue that today. I argue that with everybody. Just because you have older people doesn't make it old. Um, so many times you think, well, it's an older actor, an older actress, it's going to help skew it old. No. They can be funny. They can be funnier than anybody else out there. And they just played it off. And because of the characters being, again, so well-defined when they got in, and the actresses being so good at delivering these lines, they had arcs that could go for each one of them over years, and it just, was, I, I, I think it's still one of the highest shows that rates when they run them on reruns and stuff. I mean, God knows the Lifetime has run it every 30 minutes. Uh, it's, so it holds up.